Hello everyone, this is Selina from Alibaba Cloud Intelligence International Business. Very pleased to have the Partner Summit online today and share the insights of digital transformation with you, our distinguished international partners. Since we established in the year 2009, Alibaba Cloud is committed to becoming a world's leading cloud computing and AI technology company. After more than 10 years of development, we have become the largest public cloud service provider in Asia, and we continuously work harder to provide high-quality cloud-based services. Here is a whole picture of the Alibaba Cloud International Partner ecosystem. There are four types of international partners working together with us, including strategic partners, channel partners, technology partners, and service partners. And partner programs designed for different partner types with financial and non-financial benefits offered to the partners. Alibaba Cloud Partner Network, ACPN, is a partner platform by providing our partner valuable and up-to-date support. ACPN mission is to provide our partners a great journey with us. We continue our great efforts for this. The key objectives of ACPN is to ensure customers can be served and supported by Alibaba Cloud certificated partners. ACPN supports customers to identify and choose right Alibaba Cloud partners with Alibaba Cloud expertise and uniquely positioned to support delivering customer value. Alibaba Cloud has over 10,000 partners globally. In each territory, we have our key partners being Alibaba Cloud, big ambassador to promote Alibaba Cloud products and the technologies. We can't wait to collaborate with more partners to advance digital transformation across the world. For those many Alibaba Cloud international partners, some of them already grow as allied partner or even flagship partner, such as Indunet, Blue Power, Dunsi, Macrofusion, and the Digicenter. I'm pleased to announce new channel partner policy for Alibaba Cloud the International Business Unit. In the new policy, direct reseller and distributors' financial benefits, including front-end discount and back-end rebate, will change to be based on their program tier level. The higher tier partners are, the more incentives a partner will have. And I hope this new policy will not only benefit more existing partners, but also welcome more new partners to join us. To build up industry partner ecosystem is one of our key strategies. The objective is to establish the technology and service capabilities to deal with the core business scenarios for focus industries. So far, we have some phased results already for finance and retail. For finance, we have the capabilities for core banking, digital banking, payment, and so on. The important industry partners, such as Ant Group, a great technology have been in our system. For retail, we have the capabilities for double middle ends, IT governance, digital operations, and so on. The important industry partners such as Accenture, Major Rail have been in our system. I hope to accelerate the digital transformation for finance and the retail industry enterprises and grow together with the industry partners to make the market. We all know that Go Global already a big trend in the latest 10 years. And for those Go Global customers, we categorize them into three groups based on their current Go Global business status. You can see that each customer has their different priority, such as cost, system robustness, performance, value-added services, and electric. Our global partner program is designed to meet those requirements to support their global business. 
Go Global Partners are developed on top of Alibaba Cloud International Ecosystem. And the objective is to provide Go Global customer end-to-end -end support to ensure customer success around the world. For Global Partners, Alibaba Cloud has developed a set of supporting mechanisms on top of Alibaba Cloud International Partner Ecosystem. From supporting partner to find the best business model to providing customized support. And we hope more and more Go Global Partners can join us to empower Go Global customers together. Alibaba Cloud provides a one-stop solution to help global independent software vendors on board in local, fulfill regulatory compliance, localize products, and facilitate operations and sales easily, regardless of whether you already have an understanding of the local market. You can choose an option best suited to tap into the Alibaba cloud ecosystem. Take root in the local market and gain incremental growth. We would like to invite you to join Alibaba Cloud Marketplace, getting the professional support from technical and marketing specialists to support your onboarding process. We hope that Alibaba Cloud's best practice really help multinational companies succeed in their development locally. We look forward more partners become our premium solution partners. We fully leverage Alibaba Cloud's dedicated technical, sales, and marketing resources to the premium solution partner. Hope the global ISWIS onboarding program can truly support the global partners who would like to explore more opportunities in the market. Thank you for your time today to join the Global Partner Summit. We are welcoming more and more partners to join our ecosystem together. Next, I would like to welcome Major Rail from one of our co-partners to share our joint solution on next-gen global customer experience. The feeling of discovery. The relentless drive to innovate. To never settle for good enough. The power to create real positive impact for our clients and their customers. Is what binds us together as one team. Beyond borders, wherever we may be. It is our driving force to be our best. And to go further. We may look different. And be different. That won't stop us from standing together. Because we is bigger than you and me. We is our greatest blessing as a global family. We empowers us to nurture new leaders. We gives us new ideas and a place to thrive. We creates endless opportunities. We makes a difference for our communities. Because who we are made of is everyone. This is me. This is me. Me. And me. We are one. We are Major L. Thousand employee serving over 400 clients in 60 different languages worldwide. We design, build, and deliver end-to-end -end CX for many of the world's most respected digital native and vertical leading brands. One of the key offerings is tech and expert services, where China has contributed more than 50% of the total revenue worldwide. Majorel has been in China for more than 20 years, helping over 100 customers across different industries in the areas of digital marketing, consumer experience, and customer services. The alliance with AliCloud have helped three of our customers successfully completed digital transformation in China. And with Majorel's footprint across the world, we believe this partnership will go beyond China into the world. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining AppSara Conference. My name is Lance Guo, and I run 
global ecosystem and the sales operation for Alibaba Cloud. So today I want to share with you some of our strategy and the new developments about Alibaba Cloud. When we look into the last year, we start to see COVID-19 has a major impact into our business and our customers' business. Many businesses are now becoming more remote and more digital and more agile. And with that, we feel you know, our ecosystems and our applications and our capabilities must evolve to support such needs. So as a result, I want to share with you some of the latest developments about our global ecosystem. So ever since now, we have grown our partners number to more than 10,000. That's a great achievement. Secondary, we also see you know, now more than 340,000 customers are solely served by our partners. And that's another milestone because our, that means our partners are becoming more competent and they have more capabilities to serve our customers. Last and not least, in the last three years consecutively, our partners' business has been growing for more than 10, 100%. So that's an a indicator that we feel our business is growing and our customer and the ecosystems are becoming more and more important to serve our businesses. So looking to the new year, there are a few things we, I want to share with you. First, we see a quick movement between you know, public cloud only to hybrid cloud solutions. Our customers, our partners are looking into hybrid cloud solutions. So at Alibaba Cloud, we feel we no longer need to just deliver public capabilities, but also a hybrid capability together with our partners. So many, you know, for example, we work with VMware, and they are working with us to build the hybrid solutions to support a customer from you know, private IDC to public cloud. Secondary, we see applications going vertical. So that's why we are working with a lot of industry players, no matter the application provider like SAP or Salesforce, or consulting firms like Accenture or Deloitte. And we want to work with them to provide many vertical solutions for different industries, from retail, manufacturing, banking, and others. So the, the third trend we're seeing is a, the applications are becoming more agile, more applet-like. That said, actually, we want customers to build a very broad data platform. And on top of that, they can application build applets and small applications to serve use cases, scenarios. And we work with many partners and customers to develop such capabilities. Today, actually, we launch our aligned strategy between our cloud and the DingTalk as a development of applets. So that way, many customers can develop no-code or low-code apps very quickly. Not last one, actually, this is very important. We feel you know, the, we have to develop many local partners to serve local customers' needs. That's why also we work with, for example, Accenture to grow a very um, globalized organization. They have uh, teams in different geography to serve local needs. Deloitte, same thing. Actually, we have a global you know, organization to serve different you know, customers from different geographies. And we want to have more and more local partners working with us, working at the very different geography to serve their customers' needs. In short, actually, we, when we went into digital era and we see and the digital businesses are coming more and more in a mainstream, we've, we want to work with all our partners and uh, to serve customers' needs in a broad manner. I, I look forward to working more closely with all of you. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. My name is Lauren Hallinan, and I lead marketing for Salesforce's China products and our partnership with Alibaba. Before I begin today's presentation, I just want to give a quick reminder to customers that customers should base their purchasing decisions on products and services that are currently available. First of all, we really want to thank you for joining us today.
We hope to make today a valuable use of your time. Your success is a priority for us. Salesforce is committed to helping com companies succeed in China, and we're energized to be talking to you today about the products that we're bringing to the market in the near future together with our partners at Alibaba. So today, we're going to introduce to you our new product, Salesforce Social Commerce. But before we do that, I'd like to invite Phil Richardson, Senior Vice President of Strategic Technology Partnerships at Salesforce, to tell you a bit about Salesforce, our core values, and why they are important for our partnership with Alibaba. Thank you for having me here today at Apsara 2021. I'm Phil Richardson, Senior Vice President of Strategic Technology Partnerships at Salesforce. At Salesforce, we've stayed true to our values for over 20 years, and it starts with trust now more than ever. Trust is our number one value. We are committed to trusted stakeholder relationships, reliable infrastructure, and data privacy. Our customers depend on us to keep their businesses running. They trust our technology to perform, to be available, and to be secure. And they trust that we will communicate openly and transparently. Next is customer success. At Salesforce, we guide our customers to deliver transformative outcomes and mutual success. We put our customers first, acting as trusted digital advisors and creating the right solutions to unlock your success from anywhere. Our third value is innovation. We apply a beginner's mind, creativity and continuous learning to disrupt and transform all that we do. We offer three releases a year, so our customers always have the access to the latest technologies, allowing them to innovate, build and stay ahead in their industries. And finally, equality. We are committed to being active allies. We strive for a more equal, inclusive, sustainable and better world. We believe that equality and diversity make us a better company. We also know that our customers and partners have their own corporate values. And we believe that aligning with our customers and partners on values is a great way to build a connection. A great example is Alibaba. Alibaba isn't just a global technology leader. Their values of customer first, teamwork, embrace change, integrity, passion, and commitment align closely with ours. Our two companies' aligned values create the foundation for a strong partnership and help us work together to support the growth and success of our global customers. With that, I'll turn it over to our team to introduce the first product we're bringing to China together with Alibaba. Now, I want to kick things off by giving some context around our decision to create a new commerce product for mainland China. As we just shared, at Salesforce, customer success is at the center of everything we do. And more and more of our multinational customers have been asking us to support them wherever they do business around the world. And China is one of those key markets. According to China's Ministry of Commerce, China has ranked as the largest online retail market in the world for eight years in a row now. Shutdowns during the COVID pandemic have been driving even more shoppers online. And last year in 2020, 24.9% of China's retail sales were online. And that percentage is only going to grow. To us, this indicates that for B2C brands to be successful in China, they need a robust e-commerce strategy and infrastructure. Yet, while China is a key market, it's also a challenging one. After speaking with hundreds of customers over the past few years, we can place the majority of their challenges into four main categories. Performance, compliance, unique market dynamics, and siloed data. Performance. China has unique network challenges due to the scale of growth, mobile internet, localized bandwidth congestion, and unique internet access dynamics. There's also another aspect of performance our customers have expressed concern over, and that is scalability. China is a massive market, and whether it's one of the numerous shopping holidays or a brand is holding a flash sale or launching a new collection, our customers need a product with the scalability to support these high volume events. The second challenge is compliance. Data residency laws in China are continuously evolving and companies are sensitive to this changing landscape. Because of this, many companies are moving to store their PRC, PII data within mainland China and need a solution that can help them do so. The third challenge is unique market dynamics. As I'm sure many of you know, 
In China, consumers prefer to discover, research, and shop for products via apps and marketplaces over standalone websites. What's more, China has its own robust ecosystem of apps, different from the rest of the world. Companies need a solution that can integrate with these local channels and meet consumers where they are. And then the last challenge is siloed data. In China, we are dealing with two challenges related to siloed data. First are the silos or walled gardens between the various marketplaces and social platforms that are preventing brands from gaining a unified view of their customer. Second are the silos between global teams and local teams who may currently be using separate systems, Salesforce globally and another solution locally, causing the global team to feel a lack of visibility into China and creating a disconnect between headquarters and the local teams in China. After listening to our customers and assessing these challenges, we came to realize that our existing products were unable to fulfill the needs of our customers doing business in mainland China. This led us to develop a region-specific product to help our customers succeed in this critical market. And that product is Salesforce Social Commerce. So Salesforce Social Commerce is a headless commerce platform designed and built in China to address the market's unique needs, helping businesses unify data across their Chinese storefronts and offering integrations with key local systems. Salesforce Social Commerce is hosted in China on Alibaba Cloud, one of the world's leading cloud providers to support customer compliance and data residency requirements and enhance regional performance. Now let's take a closer look at how this solution helps solve those four challenges I just mentioned. So Salesforce Social Commerce is being brought to China as part of our partnership with Alibaba. Salesforce Social Commerce is hosted in mainland China on Alibaba Cloud, which like we just mentioned, is China's leading cloud provider. And this will en help enhance performance. When it comes to scalability, Alibaba Cloud has the proven ability to deliver high performance at scale. For example, Alibaba Cloud supported 74 billion USD in GMV during last year's Singles Day Shopping Festival. And having Salesforce Social Commerce hosted in China on Alibaba Cloud will help our customers address local data residency requirements. Now let's take a look at the product's features. Salesforce Social Commerce is a headless commerce platform, and it's built to scale with an API-first methodology. This means that the product will scale with a brand's market needs. The product will feature a robust set of storefront APIs and business APIs that a brand's development team, agency, or systems integrator can use to integrate with local storefronts and key e-commerce systems. Let's first take a look at the top row of this image. When it comes to storefronts, at launch, Salesforce Social Commerce will provide front-end support for WeChat mini programs and .cn websites. And it will also support local payment systems such as Alipay and WeChat Pay as standard payment processing. It will feature integrations with Tableau for analytics and offer clienteling with DingTalk. In the middle, you can see Salesforce Social Commerce, which like I said, is a headless commerce platform. Salesforce Social Commerce enables you to gain a unified view of your customer's activity across different channels. For example, a customer purchases something uh, via your .cn website, and then a week later purchases something else through your WeChat mini program store. In Salesforce Social Commerce, you can look up that customer's history for all integrated Chinese storefronts in one place. This includes interactions on the mini program and website, and things like purchases, shipping, and favorites. You can also look up transactions and customers by storefront. And finally, let's look at the bottom row where you can see that Salesforce Social Commerce will feature business APIs that enable integrations into key e-commerce systems, such as a brand's local order management system, 
product information management system, shipping providers, and more. Now let's take a look at the e-commerce management features that will be included when the product becomes generally available by the end of this year. Wave one will include standard product catalog, search, purchase, and more features. The product also leverages our Salesforce Lightning design system. So it has a similar design and user experience to global Salesforce products. And while this is a Salesforce product, we're also leveraging many tools from our partners at Alibaba, such as their anti-bot technology. Now, I just introduced our new product, Salesforce Social Commerce, but I want you to understand that this is only the beginning. We recognize that Chinese consumers have an incredible willingness to adopt new innovative commerce experiences from live commerce and shoppable video to social retail and digital wallets, technologies that may be considered cutting edge in the West are already the norm in China. We also know that in China, the line between e-commerce and social platforms is often blurred. Social platforms have robust e-commerce capabilities, while e-commerce platforms have games, group buying, live streaming, and content posting features. And we aim to deliver a product that reflects all of this, which is why we named it Salesforce Social Commerce. As China's e-commerce market continues to quickly evolve, we intend to regularly deliver new features and integrations for Salesforce Social Commerce, arming customers with the tools needed to stay on top of market trends. As Salesforce Social Commerce develops, users can expect to see social at its core. We're really excited to be working with Alibaba to bring new products such as this to the China market. Thank you for joining our session and have a great day. Welcome to our session with IBM and Alibaba Cloud, where we'll be talking about how to overcome data complexity and scale AI anywhere. First, let's talk about the gap of not knowing. Data is all around us, and companies are sitting on a data gold mine. But the question to ask is, are you using all that data to improve your products, services, and operations? So it's no secret today that a modern business needs to be data-driven. But more than half of that data actually goes unused, and that's a missed opportunity to identify risk earlier, increase sales, and reduce costs. Now, there are also a lot of other factors here, like the complexity of today's IT landscapes, there's a shortage of skills, and there are regulatory requirements. So what all that means is that it's not easy to implement digital transformation. And so what can customers do about that? My name is Pearl Chen. I'm a content marketer with IBM. And I'm thrilled today to be speaking with Steven Astorino, Vice President of Development for IBM Data and AI Solutions to explore important topics critical to scaling the use of AI successfully. As so to start off, uh, let's talk about data and the power of having broader context to uncover insights. Steve, it's interesting that data is still a core challenge for many businesses. Why is that? So data is uh, it's becoming actually a bigger challenge and more complex as, as time goes on. And part of the reason for that is because data is essentially everywhere. And with, with the uh, modernization and the transformation to cloud, a lot of the data has been moving to not just one cloud, but multiple different cloud vendors. So it leaves companies in this state where they essentially have data everywhere. And it could be on, on private cloud, on premise, or it could be on, a, on a, one of the hyperscalers on a public cloud. But we have statistics that show that 97% of customers' data is essentially in multiple places, including on-prem. And at least 92% of customers who have been embarking in this journey of this modernization have at least two clouds that their data is on. So as you can imagine, it becomes more and more complex to be able to get the insights you need from this data. Now, on top of that, data is growing at an exponential rate. So being able to get the right data to be able to build insight and AI on top of it, you know, it gets, it gets pretty difficult. And this is the, the data is the most important ingredient to be able to provide value to your own customers as, 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 a, 
as a company and be disruptive. So it becomes more and more challenging to be able to do that. Right, right. So, um, so given all of these challenges, uh, what options do businesses have to overcome this complexity? So great question. I mean, our point of view at IBM is really the concept of what we call a data fabric. And what a data fabric does is it allows you to access and bring data together from all these different places in a seamless way. And of course, there are multiple approaches to be able to do this, but uh, doing a, a modernization or, or shift to cloud or a data movement a modernization is very expensive. And uh, it's, it's a hard migration typically that takes 6, 12, even, even 18 months at times to be able to do that. With the data fabric, you're able to access the data, leave it where it is, and move it at your own pace. In addition to that, the data fabric gives you the ability to uh, build insights, profiling all that data, metadata, a catalog, all of that, and apply privacy on top of it, which is very critical, especially for large enterprises. So it's, it allows this end-to-end -end manage, management of this data to be able to get the insights you need at the end of the day, you want to be able to provide a data as a service capability for either data scientists or, or developers or line of business users to get the insights they need. So data fabric is really the most efficient approach to be able to manage the complexity of this data to be able to get to solve your business problems that you have. Yeah, that's really good to know. Um, and actually, one of the other things about data fabric is that I think you can keep data at its source. Um, can you talk a little bit more about that and what's the value of having that? Yeah, absolutely. So I'll mention a few things. Uh, the way you can leave it out source is essentially you we want to bring the intelligence uh, where the, to where the data is. And we use technologies like virtualization to be able to access the data. And then this allows you to leave it there without having to do a big, large migration. The other piece that's very important is really about the... Uh, privacy piece and, and governance of this data to make sure that you're meeting all guidelines and policies and, and security and all of that. And that's pretty critical as well, uh, especially again for large enterprises. So the ability to provide this capability is crucial uh, to make sure that the data integ integrity is there. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's super powerful that you can keep at its source. And I say that because um, in today's environment, there's so many laws around data residency. So in fact, in a recent global AI adoption study, uh, it found that 90% of organizations say that being able to run their AI projects wherever the data resides is the key to adoption. So I'm wondering what happens if my analytics and AI tools are elsewhere, like I'm using other cloud services. Won't I yeah. need to copy my data to those cloud services? And what if they are out of the country? No, absolutely not. In fact, um, that is one of the value of a data fabric. But the way we achieve this is we use OpenShift as the, as the containerization platform to be able to essentially make our technology portable to anywhere. And that includes any cloud as well as on-prem private cloud as well. So this gives you the ability with, with Red Hat OpenShift to be able to essentially move the tool set under the covers to where the data is so that you don't actually have to move the data. That's actually more efficient. And that's then where you get the performance gains, the performance improvements. We've seen up to two, four, up to 10 times faster of, of building AI models uh, where, when the tool set resides or is running where the, where the data is. And that's one of the advantages. You talked about the uh, regulatory compliance and cross-country boundaries. That's also a very critical one. So with, with Red Hat OpenShift, we are able to leverage this technology to make our tool sets uh, very portable to any environment in any, in any cloud, including uh, cross-boundaries of, of countries and, and other regulations. So it's very, it's very important to be able to do that. And you're now gaining benefits of the performance as well because they're co-residing in the same location. Awesome. Um, so can you actually give me a real world example of how, you know, when people co-locate AI, um, what does that really do for their business? Yeah, absolutely. So we talked about the, uh, the AI example. Uh, of course, with all of the, the things we just discussed around the data and, and privacy and, and compliance, but also let's say that I'm training, uh, um, I'm training an AI model, right? The way that works is it's based on historical data. The more data typically to a certain extent that you have, 
the more efficient your model will be. Uh, and and the, you need that data to be able to train that model. Now, if it, we had to move the data, you're essentially moving a lot of data from one location to the other. By, by actually bringing the, the tool set to where the data is, you're, you're not moving the data at all. And now you're able to achieve one better performance and more accuracy in the model itself. And the, the performance gains are drastic to the point where, you know, it could be weeks to, to, to minutes or, or hours to be able to build some of the complex models that you have in, in artificial intelligence. So it's a pretty significant uh, benefit by doing that. That's really interesting. Um, before we close, any final thoughts or advice for businesses uh, as they look to scale AI adoption? Yeah, absolutely. So at the end of the day, um, you know, being able to manage your data end to end is very important. Choosing the right tool set is critical. Uh, trying to uh, essentially access the data from, from irrelevant of where you are, for us, our point of view is the most efficient way to do that. Migrations are very expensive. Of course, we have capability that allows you to, uh, to move the data as well, but if you want to be able to get insight as quickly as you can uh, through a concept of the data fabric is the most efficient way. Uh, and also to be able to, again, like I said before, uh, to provide the security, the, the regulatory compliance, the, uh, the intelligence as well on, on the data itself and being able to profile. All of that is very important to be able to do. Uh, the data fabric is the most efficient way to do that. Steve, I want to thank you for your time today. And to wrap up, let me recap a few of the things you said. I took a few notes. Um, first is the idea that unused data remains a key obstacle to AI adoption. And as you said, a data fabric can really help you more effectively access, discover, and use more of your data to provide greater context and enhance insights. Secondly, as you mentioned, uh, data no longer needs to be moved to where the AI is. You can co-locate AI on or near where the data is stored, and that keeps it secure at its source, which also reduces latency and accelerates time to insight. And finally, data and AI architectures should be flexible and accommodate a multi-cloud environment. They should simplify the complex, and IBM solutions are created with these design points in mind to help you achieve this. So thank you again today, Steve. Uh, that wraps up our session. I invite you to look at our additional resources below and hope you all have a great day. Thanks, bro. Great discussion. Hello, everyone. I'm Catherine Zhang, running the International Partner Strategy and Operations for Alibaba Cloud. I have been working in Alibaba Cloud almost five years. Today, I'm very glad to see you join our International Partner Summit today. And I think you all have learned more about our International Partner Strategy from Selena, GM of Alibaba Cloud International Business, and several partner showcases from the representatives of the key partners. Now, it's my honor to announce our upgrading ACPN, Alibaba Cloud Partner Net which aims to upgrade the partner's experience with Alibaba Cloud. The upgrading ACPN will keep up with the times, convenient and efficient. So what ACPN is? ACPN stands for Alibaba Cloud Partner Net, which is the partner portal for Alibaba Cloud strategy partner, channel partner, technology partner, service partner, and the partner programs for each partner type. You can find the detailed introductions of the partner programs together with the requirements and benefits. ACPN's mission is to provide our partners a great journey with Alibaba Cloud through the whole life cycle and reach winning by providing our partner valuable and up-to-date support. The banner of May Pages will display the latest news and industry information of global partners by rolling information. Partner or customer can find the latest Alibaba Cloud Partner ecosystem, relevant event, partner success story, white paper, and so on. The banner of May Pages will display the latest news and industry information of global partners 
by rolling information. Partner or customer can find the latest Alibaba Cloud Partner ecosystem relevant event, partner success story, white paper, and so on. And under the banner, there is ACP an introduction video, which is an overview of Alibaba Cloud International Partner ecosystem and partner showcases. Here you can view all Alibaba Cloud International partner related activities, news, and partner success stories, helping you catch up the latest information of Alibaba Cloud ecosystem and can also help our customer find the interested partner stories to explore potential opportunities. And there are also links to the frequent uh, used pages like the sales support you may can contact Alibaba Cloud salesperson or after sales support, for example, for example, the link to open a free ticket. This page is happy look for partners. The search bar on the left side is set up with different search criteria to facilitate customers to quickly and easily find the right partner by industry, region, partner type, or solutions. And the right Site shows the Alibaba Cloud authorized partners, logos, and names. Here is a page on how to become an Alibaba Cloud partner. First, you can understand the different partner uh, types and the partner programs for each partner type based on the different business model. Then the following parts are the step-by-step -step application process to support the potential partner to starting the journey with Alibaba Club. Last but not least, the ACPM Partner Support page, which is quite useful in the post-sales stage, where provide the comprehensive advice and support to partners in eight areas. Partner can easily select the relevant functions based on their own needs. Thank you all again for joining our International Partner Summit. Hope our upgrading ACPN can make your journey with Alibaba Cloud more efficient and more friendly. And if you have any query about the ACPN or Alibaba Cloud International Partner ecosystem, you can contact us use this email address here. We will reach out to you within 48 working hours. This is my session today. Hi, I'm Zeng. Senior Product Manager of Alibaba Cloud Elastic Compute Service. Today, I'm going to share with you the new product Compute Nest, Cloud Engine for Enterprise Applications. Driven by external factors and increased demands, enterprise applications and services are full of new vitality today. As enterprise application cloudification is accelerating, there are several pain points when independent software vendors face on their way to transform to cloud model. As we surveyed from many ISVs, they care mostly about three aspects as security, efficiency, and standardization so that they can serve their customers with secure products, high efficiency, and standard delivery. Under this background, Alibaba Cloud has strong desire, professional capability, and rich experience to build the cloud ecosystem together with ISV partners. Through Compute Nest, Alibaba Cloud has opened up two capabilities to help partners succeed. One is Absara technology base to help ISVs products or solutions to gain a better cloud experience. The other is Alibaba Cloud Service Catalog to provide higher retrieval weights for ISV's products or solutions settled in Compute Nest. Next, I will introduce it in detail from three aspects. The first one is efficiency. How Compute Nest ensures the whole lifecycle service delivery for partner services to be efficient and intelligent. This includes efficient service deployment based on automated resource provisioning, efficient diagnosis to quickly locate faults, efficient management to provide clear business situation, 
and efficient O&M to guarantee users' business stability and security. Here, let's compare the traditional manual deployment with Compute Nest model. In traditional ways, ISV needs to provide a resource list to the user to do manual provisioning on Alibaba Cloud. After that, ISV will provide the deployment material and let users do the manual deployment. While in Compute Nest model, ISV will publish a service which uses ROS JSON, YAML, or Terraform script to define the cloud resource list and the application installation method. Then the user sub subscribes the service and use one click to obtain automated provisioning and deployment. In the time cost contrast analysis, we can see Compute Net model brings more than 10 times efficiency increment. The second keyword is a secure. Compute Nest SIM aims to reduce the possibility of each risk exposure and ensure the business safety. This includes application security by software vulnerability warning and synchronization. Network security via Alibaba Cloud Inner Network Connection. Password security with no need to exchange login credentials business security via end-to-end -end monitoring mechanism. You can see the figure, the deployment model for the private service. After the resources and applications are deployed under user's VPC, ISV can obtain user's resources data after authorization through Alibaba Cloud Internet, which will ensure secure data transfer. The third one is standard. Standard means standard and automated delivery. Standard O&M with unified and simplified process. Standard management with unified cloud platform and application management. Standard after sales port with unified business and cloud platform data reports. In the blow picture, we can see the O&M process in Compute Nest model. Firstly, health monitoring provides real-time health detection to prevent problems. Then, when a fault occurs, the notification will be immediately generated with zero delay. Last but not least, intelligent fault diagnosis system will quickly locate problems and make troubleshooting more efficient. This standard process will increase the SLA by 90%. All in all, ComputeNest is a bridge between ISVs and customers. Through deep integration with ISVs, Alibaba Cloud hopes to create a win-win market with our partners. Via ComputeNest, the joint solution will shorten customers' decision-making cycles and increase sales conversion rate upgrade customer experience on the cloud, and share traffic and brand resources to accelerate business development. Currently, there are already some ISVs on board for Compute Nest Plan, and they all benefit from different aspects from the product, including standard delivery, stable business, and secure service. Today, I would like to tell you all our partners that Compute Nest is now generally available. We want to make it easier for enterprise applications partners to obtain cloud capabilities and dividends. Welcome to join Compute Nest. That's all for my sharing today. Thank you very much and see you again. Hello, everyone. I'm Niti Patpani Chariwat, Managing Director of the Intelligent or DI. Today, I would like to talk about our DI turnkey business and development solution. The Intelligent is trusted by top entertainment companies in Thailand to provide turnkey development for OTT platform solution. Also, we are experts in innovative business-driven IT solutions that drive growth. We provide tailor-made turnkey of IT development services, chat tabs, technology stack and business platform creation, website design and development, 
Mobile Application Design and Development and Digital Transformation and Integration. So let's see our references. 131 is one of the leading digital TV channels that provide many successful TV series, game shows, new show in Thailand. We help them transform and create own digital assets and develop OTT platform for both website and application with our own live streaming infrastructure and integrating with the third-party video players. Currently, there are already more than 6 million downloads, averagely more than 2 million monthly active users with 600,000 concurrent user capabilities. Next is GMM25. After we have done with the 131, then we have a chance to working with the GMM25 where we also develop OTT platform for both website and application that integrated with the multiple third-party platform format for live streaming and video on demand. The difference is that we do event management and live chat function between the admin and that fan as well. Next is 9 Entertainment from MCOT. 9 Entertainment is a well-known entertainment news or an award. So we develop voting application for Worldwide Fan Club, where we change a traditional SMS voting business model and transform it into a gamified digital voting model so customers can understand about who is their fan club and who is their big spender, of which artists, from which countries. So only three days from launch into the market, there are already 15 million tickets worth in the platform and 40 million ticket worth from 200,000 registered users within 14 days from all of the world. If you like K-pop, we actually do a first Kang Daniel online live fan meet. We develop a website with a live interactive for pay user account to participate directly live from South Korea to all of the world where we manage a re-streaming within our platform with a live translation. WhiteFlick WhiteFlick developed with a full OTT function and infrastructure and using an Alibaba cloud products which range from ECS, Astra Video, VOD for example. Bank case of SCB Example of how we working to integrate it with multiple platform for business solution in this case with Line, Spotify and content provider to create a lead generation infrastructure for matching a line user with the currently user in the bank internal profile. So you can see from our references that our DI OTT solution are trusted by many leading companies in Thailand. We provide the available solution that fit your goals, integrated OTT solution with a third party provider as we understand that some content right are optimizing revenue from other platforms while maintaining your digital asset and data. OTT solution integrated with existing hardware. Since some clients already have physical hardware for live streaming, however, needed to upgrade it the online capability and services. Fully customized OTT platform development. We can build it from ground up and custom our solution for customer specific need. Our current OTT features such as live and on-demand VOD streaming, AVOD or SVOD models, adaptive bitrate and streaming, different available DIM, video player integration with third party, live voting and questionnaire, rewarding and gamify, live streaming shopping experience, location-based privilege, many more possibilities that suit your need. Of course, that we are working closely with Alibaba Cloud and using all variety of cloud products that suit the client's specification. We are not only helping develop solution for customer, we also develop strategy to drive business growth. Our service such as business brand and strategy, technology stack and business platform, 360 integrated marketing strategy to promote your solution into the market. Example of our works. We help promoting TikTok when it's first launching creative online campaign in Thailand where we introduce TikTok communities through online campaign from a target audience in YouTube influencers 
and encourage our target to join the campaign in both YouTube and TikTok. Promoting new application Omi from China with a creative influencers campaign to top trend in App Store, in Google Play for new application in Thailand. We are not only promoting, but we are also working with our clients, such as the number one mobile operator in Thailand, AAS, to create a new product category, Lucky Number, where we use our solution to do number grading, providing ecosystem for vendors, while keeping creating a new trend in the market to support the products. We are also working with international organizations like South Korea to help create a campaign and promote their global voting application in Southeast Asia. As you can see, we create a digital solution for business, combining with our IT business integrated intelligent solution and consulting. We help you drive a business value and achieve digital transformation. Thank you for your attention and if you have any question, please contact us. Hello everyone, I'm Wenyi, the head of Chinese IT. Chinese IC based in overseas. The company strategy is to target 28 million overseas Chinese who live, work, or doing business in overseas and provide them various overseas internet products that can enhance their productivities in local market. Among them, the SaaS level overseas e-commerce system is particularly successful and it has opened more than 70% of the market share in Australia and New Zealand. SaaS products in education, beauty industry, food industry and mini program business are also very popular. We not only provide overseas Chinese business with internet products that can be used in overseas market, but also focus on serving the 100 billion level cross-board e-commerce market dedicated by them. Our cross-board e-commerce agency corporate service directly or indirectly generate billions of dollars in revenue for customers in Australia and New Zealand each year. Many well-known Chinese new domestic brands such as Xiaopay, Olight, Zixi, Xiaomi, Youping have long-term cooperative relationship with us in Australia. After in deep cooperation with the Alibaba Cloud International team, we have also learned a lot of thinking with a large pattern from the Alibaba term which has greatly bought our horizons. Alibaba Cloud International provides us very powerful cloud service and cooperation solution support, no matter in terms of access speed, service stability, network security, supporting function support, Alibaba Cloud is well described tier one in this field around the world. Back by the powerful resources of Alibaba Cloud, we are able to provide our global customers with top-notch technical service. This has allowed us to win widespread passes from customers in the past. According to the customer's needs and market development, our company activities cooperate with the Alibaba Cloud team to launch Alibaba Cloud Global Live Broadcast, Big Data Intelligent Recommendation, Supply Chain Management, and Blockchain Function for our customers. We look forward to more possibilities of cooperation with Alibaba Cloud International, developed together in the international market, and jointly open up the market. Chinese IT mainly focus on billions of cross-board e-commerce market. To achieve our company's strategy, we have three steps. Plan 1. Consumer Big Data Platform After we are achieving successful overseas SaaS e-commerce system, we continue to expand along other overseas industries, including education, beauty. It is expected that in the next three years, the Chinese business industry in Australia will be integrated rely on Alibaba Cloud to build a big data consumption platform between Australian and overseas different countries and cities. Plan 2. Transnational Supply Chain Platform Chinese IT expands the number of countries to achieve business connective among countries. We have already connected with markets in the US, Japan, Korea, Europe, and Australia so far, resulting in a lot of cooperation and business. By the way, the interconnection between business in other countries is also proceeding in an orderly menu. Among them, the connection between South American customer and Japanese and Korean channel is the most popular. 
After the accumulation of this network effect reaches a certain point, a company will launch a multicultural supply chain platform to connect with the big data accumulation in Plan 1, forming a restriction of the relationship between people, field, and goods. Plan 3. Cross-board e-commerce community. Our company will continue to provide overseas cross-board e-commerce operation service for Chinese no -brand domestic brands. Now we, are con we have accumulated experience and resources in the Australia and the New Zealand market. Operations of Xiaomi Yuping's ecological chain manufacturers, Olight, Fengtai, Xiaopei, Zisi and other brands. The community resources will gradually be docked by the resources in Plan 1 to build a new follow chain and expansion platform for new domestic products to be used by overseas Chinese as a springboard and then introduce new domain of resources and variables into their ecological. Our version is to empower for overseas Chinese business and on this build, build an overseas ecosystem in conjunction with many third-party partners such as Alibaba Cloud. We look forward to empowering more overseas Chinese business with products and service in the next five years. And on this base, we will build a new generation of overseas business ecosystems in conjunction with many third-party partners such as Alibaba Cloud. The journey of thousands of males begins with a single step, and overseas Chinese business have been worked hard for a hundred years. The new year also requires a new team, backed by a strong and thorough motherland, combined with overseas related to make a greater contribution to overseas Chinese. We look forward to your join. If you are interested in cooperation, please contact us. Once again, I would like to thank you the Alibaba Cloud International team for the innovation and the organizer. I'm Yu Ting from ZBJ.com, and I will introduce the international businesses of ZBJ.com to you today. I will introduce ZBJ.com to you next. ZBJ.com, a leading corporate service platform in China currently, has a high reputation and user recognition degree in the field of domestic corporate services. During 15 years of development, the platform has won honors of National Innovative and Entrepreneurial Demonstration Base, China's top 100 internet, internet companies, Chinese unicorn company, respectively. It has more than 28 million registered users, more than 100,000 incubating enterprises, and serves more than 1,000 corporate full life circle with more than 100 offline service bases. ZBJ Khan Corporate Service Platform provides efficient, convenient, and safe solution for various corporate employers through building digitalized service ability and serves enterprises, industries, and governments. Next, I will introduce the international business of ZBJ Khan to you. ZBJ Khan serves the world in China. ZBJ.com provides more than 1,000 kinds of professional services of enterprises covering brand marketing, software development, intellectual property, taxation, sign tech, consultation, shared office, and other service fields, and may meet the professional service demands of enterprises during such development period as startup, growth, and maturity period. ZBJ can provide more than 1,000 kinds of corporate full life circle services, more than 3.5 million times of brand design services, more than 1.5 million times of logo designs, more than 1.8 million times of marketing promotion services, more than 800,000 times of IT development, and more than 500,000 times of website development. ZBJ.com provides corporate full life circle services that currently cover more than 200 countries and regions in the world, providing various corporate services for enterprises in various life circles. For example, first, in the enterprise start startup period, ZBJ.com many provide services required to build a good brand, such as corporate registration, booking, bookkeeping agency, office 
decoration, business proposal, and other services. Second, in the enterprise preparation period, CBG can mainly help enterprises to reduce cost and increase benefits through corresponding services, including corporate official website, commercial marketing planning, e-commerce operation agency, short video marketing, we media operation, and other services. Third. In the sustainable development period, CBJ can mainly improves the sales of company brand through corresponding services, including company logo design, VI system design, PPT customization, product shoot, propaganda material design, and other services. The fourth in the mature and stable period. CBJ to come mainly facilitate the com- continuous growth of the company through corresponding services, including corporate office OA system, ERP management system, purchase sale inventory system, live streaming marketing, corporate video, and other services. So we can see that. CBJ to come has provided massive services in addition to the said services to meet the demands of more enterprises in various development period. It provides more than one thousand kinds of corporate service choices for domestic enterprises in China as well as overseas enterprises. And meanwhile, the budget account can also provide overseas enterprises with customized corporate scheme service guarantee followed in the whole course by overseas outside lawyer team for each overseas enterprise. Nevertheless, the budget account will provide quality services at transparent prices, keeping purchase from varies. CBJ can well escort your enterprises through the whole course. Now I will introduce relevant cases served by CBJ to come to you. We just bring several representative international corporate services today because there are too many cases of CBJ to come. The first case is. Cross-border e-commerce independent station. The customer comes from cross-border e-commerce. Business pain point. Pay and glasses has opened a store and a cross-border e-commerce platform to operate cross-border business for five years, during which it was always limited by the platform in terms of copyright and marketing ways. It promoted sales. Through unsettling part of the profits to buyer in multiple merchant competition, resulting in account banning for survey several times for from last year to this year and more than one million dollar not withdrawable. Using effect, got rid of the fierce competition among peers through building e-commerce independent. Station acquired high prof- profits and solved the worries and capital freezing through more efficient integrated promotion on Facebook and Instagram and Google Ads. The total revenue of the first half year of 2021 has exceeded the sales of last year on the platform. The second case is live streaming sales platform. The customer comes from the garment industry. Business pain point: the customer had been operating offline physical stores, and the visitor feel rate of the store reduced because people couldn't go out frequently due to pandemic for the last two years. Along with the normalization of pandemic presentation, the purchase habit has also changed gradually. It's required to increase online presentation channels of com- commodities. However, traditional mall can't deliver better inter interactive presentation experience to customers. Monotonous commodity list can't improve the trust of customers towards merchants and products, and it's hard to improve turnover turnover rate. Using effect by 
version of live stream sales on live stream platform during the first week of a marketing event. There were 1.2 million users coming to view in total, and the interaction rate of fans reached 12.7%. Increase brand and use link scenarios activate original inactive traffic and realize rapid transaction. There are other cases of international trademark certificates. Here are respectively certificate of registration of trademark of U.S. certificate of regis registration of trademark of EU. Certificate of Registration of Trademark of Australia, Certificate of Registration of Trademark of Canada. These are our cases of overseas company certificates. Here are, respectively, Certificate of Incorporation of State of Colorado, U.S., Certificate of Incorporation of Cayman Islands, Certificate of in Incorporation of Hong Kong, China, Certificate Con confirming incorporation of company of Singapore. These are our cases of international certificates. Here are, respectively, SGS test report, CE certificate, ISO 9001 certificate, and ISO 1A001 certificate. If you have any business needs, please look in for ZBJ account. Thanks for watching. Well, hello, welcome, Absra Conference 2021 attendees. My name is Hong Choi. I head up the Alibaba Cloud Global Partner Ecosystems and Strategic Alliances. Today, it is my honor to be introducing our very strategic partners, Red Hat. Just by way of background, Alibaba Cloud has established a very strategic partnership with Red Hat dating back to 2016. And since then, we have introduced several products available to our customers on Alibaba Cloud. That's RHEL, OpenShift, uh, and now uh, RHEL for SAP uh, for customers to take advantage of on Alibaba Cloud. And after this talk, if you would like to get more information about these products and solutions, please go to alibabacloud.com and search for Red Hat. And so without further ado, I would like to introduce my friend and colleague at Red Hat, Johan Glasser. Uh, he is currently the head of the SAP business at Red Hat, and he will be uh, discussing more about uh, what you can expect uh, with uh, 
uh, SAP, uh, RHEL for SAP uh, on Alibaba Cloud. So, Johan, please take it away. For more than 20 years, SAP and Red Hat are partners. In the year 1999, SAP decided first time to support Linux as operating system. And they did this together with Red Hat. Since that time, a lot of co-innovation have happened. From powering the SAP NetWeaver platform, up to HANA as a database, to S4 HANA, as well as also to various other different SAP applications. Now, in the last 18 months, we even have tripled our effort and accelerated our investment in co-innovation together with SAP. And today, I want to give you an overview what we have achieved. I'm Jochen Glaser, and I'm responsible for the SAP business within Red Hat. It's about running your SAP, as well as also simplify SAP and extend SAP. And all of this with the help and support from the best open source technologies. Let me share with you six different use cases to give you an overview what we have achieved. First of all, it's about the infrastructure. So we have added new functionalities to our Red Hat Enterprise Linux platform to make sure to have the best platform as well as most stable, flexible, secure and also fastest platform to run your SAP applications on top of it. A second use case is about automation and it's about automating your SAP environment. So it's about moving manual tasks and migrate them to be able to automate them. With this, you can save a lot of cost and time. It's not only about installation and automated installations of SAP systems. It's also about helping you when you're on your journey from a migration as well as also customization to make life easier and support you to reduce cost and time. A third use case is about obviously modernization. It's about the concept of SAP to keep the core clean, to deliver the possibility for you to be more flexible and agile in the future. With this, also the side-by-side -side extensibility of the SAP business technology platforms comes into charge. We have developed and tested our OpenShift platform to help and support you on this journey of SAP migration. So OpenShift is a runtime environment you can use now to also let cloud native applications run on top of this, as well as also help you in migration and modernization of your legacy applications and non-SAP applications to bring them together with SAP. And we are using OpenShift not only as a runtime environment, but also most important as a development environment for you to make it much easier to accomplish these migration scenarios. A third use case is about integration. The more data and applications you can integrate, the better for your business. You are distracted by silos and it's about getting them together and integrate them. We have chosen the best open source projects and combined them and delivered with our platform Freescale API management as well also with use our integration middleware which is certified on SAP systems to deliver the possibility for you to integrate based on open source. It's about integration SAP with the SAP business technology platform but also to connect non-SAP and legacy applications together. A fifth use case is of course about interoperability. You as a customer want to have the choice to run your SAP applications wherever you want. It might be in one of the public cloud providers, it might be on your own private cloud, or maybe you want to continue on premise, or at least in the future you might have hybrid scenarios to run your SAP application and whatever platform you want to choose. And with OpenShift, we have developed a container platform to give you the possibility to run your SAP applications on whatever platform you want. And also it makes it easy to migrate and change from one platform to the other platform. 
Last but not least, it's of course also about data intelligence. Data is the new oil of the future. And it's about to connect as many as possible data and different sources together to apply insights, to apply also machine learning and artificial intelligence. We are not only powering HANA as a database with our Red Hat Enterprise Linux, we also power new technologies from SAP, like SAP Data Intelligence, as containerized application to run on top of OpenShift. This gives you the possibility also here to run the system wherever you want it, on whatever platform you want it, and being able to integrate more and more data, non-SAP as well as also SAP. And with this, I want to give you a summary what we have achieved. It's about really running SAP on the most stable, secure and fastest platform with infrastructure technology of Red Hat Enterprise Linux and Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform, but also simplifying SAP in being able to automate a lot of manual tasks, add also smart management to your SAP environment, and last but not least, to extend SAP in modernizing SAP, adding non-SAP and legacy applications based on the side-by-side -side extensibility to connect it with the SAP Business Technology Platform. Thank you and uh, welcome to the panel discussion. Uh, today, the topic of our discussion is how to accelerate telco's digital transformation by facilitating uh, cloud business development. And to put lights on our topic, uh, we have experts from three different domains. Um, you can say three different stakeholders of the telecom industries and the business. Uh, we have Mr. Peras, who is the director of the cloud business in Zen, Saudi Arabia. Uh, then we have uh, Mr. Daniel, who is the Vice President for Alibaba Cloud uh, Business Development uh, for the, uh, representing the infrastructure side. Last but not the least, we have Mr. Steven, who is the Chief Marketing and Digital Officer for Real Cloud, representing the telecom solution vendor provider. Now, digital transformation is forcing many changes uh, uh, to the business uh, because it is already starting to get migrating. Uh, either to your private or a public cloud. Now, it is challenging, but at the same time, it has uh, created an opportunity to bring focus on the network and the cloud in uh, convergence uh, from the resource level and above. So in the cloud, the definition of network has already been changed. Um, it's like, you know, um, the, the, because it is defined by the policies and the codes. Uh, it means that the network uh, has to create a secure boundary to protect the services, um, the applications, and all important data over the cloud. Under such changes brought by the network and the IT and CT convergence, it becomes important uh, to know what capabilities and solutions can be introduced to the industry under the lights of digital transformation. And to share such capabilities and possible solutions I would like to invite our first panelist, Mr. Daniel, who is basically the head of international hybrid cloud business development, along with Alibaba Cloud Intelligence. He has, uh, uh, he's been the uh, leading number of cloud platforms in Asia. And he's also, uh, you know, um, uh, taking care of multiple industries and providing cloud solution for the EAS pass and the big data security and AI domain. Uh, with an experience of 19 years, Mr. Daniel's mission is to enable customers to achieve success in helping them adapt uh, with this new change and thrive in the digital um, age, and that too based on the digital intelligence. Uh, Mr. Daniel is going to be covering the most common concerns uh, to be answered. Uh, number one, what capabilities and solution could be offered and addressed for the digital transformation strategy? so that to help the operators push cloud forward. Number two, um, how Alibaba Cloud and Rail Cloud co-build these technologies and solutions for the telecom operators. Over to you, Mr. Daniel. Thanks, Sammy. Okay, now I also prepare a very short presentation. Okay, and uh, just introduce 
uh, for operator how to catch these and the opportunities okay based on the cloud solutions everybody know for uh, telecom operators okay and uh, they are from the traditional okay wireless business and uh, uh, fixed line business now this is a new new and opportunity coming how do they can get more business on cloud now I can share some and uh, my understanding. The first one, let's see, okay, now what's telecom computing technology and evolution? From the first generation is just in the traditional IT. Okay, this is very simple. Server plus the storage, okay, where in the tra traditional network. Now go to the virtualization, okay, this is very simple, just for the, the server virtualization, the main window is the very well. Okay, now, now everybody go to the, uh, at present, okay, almost, as the operators, they are using the solution based on the OpenStack because the OpenStack can match almost and, uh, some requirement. But with time, okay, all the operators feel the challenges. Okay, because in the OpenStack, this is open source. For the maintenance, it will be the main problem. Second one is this performance bottleneck. If in the less servers, okay, if the application not complex, okay, that's fine. This is working well. If more than 500 server, if more than 1,000 1, servers, okay, the performance in the bottleneck is coming. So second one, the maintenance of the challenges, they will spend the lots of time, lots of the thoughts, okay, to do the development, okay. Now they will find the business, okay, is going slowly. Now the, okay, the operator will think how they can based on the more high performance cloud will be the most uh, better options. Okay, now we are go to the future. The future, okay, now most people will think, hey, we need the self-developed cloud also is can, uh, fully controlled cloud. Now you can see, now at present, okay, now all the main, many the public cloud, they are the cloud is nobody using the open stack. Now the top four, okay, Amazon, Alibaba Cloud, Azure and Google, everybody use his own cloud because this is a, with fully controlled, I can get the best performance. So I think in the future for the telecom, self-developed cloud and fully controlled cloud is the most important for operators. Okay, I also prepare some data. Okay, this is from the forecast. You can see for the public cloud so business, even for the infrastructure service, okay, this is very and uh, a huge market. I get some data, okay, in the coming five years, year to year, almost a 30% increment. Now, okay, now Alibaba Cloud also is a top play, okay, in this domain. This is the report from the Gartner just in this year to write. Now we are on the, um, uh, ranked the number four globally. For telecom, okay, they will catch the new opportunity. Based on the, uh, now the almost all the, the government, all the enterprise, all the, the, the business, they want to go to the digitalization. They want to use on the cloud, they want to use the AI, they want to use on the, some new technologies okay, to improve his efficiency or do the new business. Now for the telecoms, okay, now we also can prepare some in the report. You can see there are many focus on the cloud security and the customer experience. Those and how can driving this business, they, for the operator, it's important they have the own cloud solutions. First, if they have the own cloud platform, their own AI platform, then you have the advantage of foundation, okay, and go to the future. Okay, and for Alibaba Cloud, I just say, okay, now we are the only the few vendors can give the dedicated cloud okay, for the, our customers. We will not based on the, our public cloud. We are just to take the public cloud technologies and inherited from the, this in the public cloud and give the dedicated cloud to our customers. This is a dedicated cloud will be separate from the public cloud. This is a fully customer self cloud. It means this will be can fully controlled by our customer. Okay, we are not linked to any other cloud. Okay, for this and the dedicated cloud and a public cloud, we will use the same technologies, same architectures. This can guarantee this can go smoothly, okay, and uh, uh, go into the future. We already have the 12 years, okay, about the cloud experience. I think 
this platform is enough for our customer to play well in future. Here we just show one uh, whole and uh, our product pictures. You know, till now for uh, Alibaba Cloud, in our public cloud, there are more than 260 products. We already and, uh, inherited, okay, more than 70 products to this dedicated cloud. Almost can match most the scenarios of the customer requirement. This is a whole picture of okay, what product we current at present we covered. But we also can support, okay, can uh, migrate more product to this cloud because this is the same architecture, same technologies. Okay, for these solutions, for this platform, this can cover the S. Okay, this includes the uh, computing storage network and securities. For we also and integrated with our the database, okay, and the cloud native middleware, and always and the AI and the big data platforms. This all can match all, uh, almost most of the customer scenarios. We are not only off the platform to our customers, okay, we also can think how to help customer okay, to set end-to-end -end solutions. For this end-to-end, -end, not only the uh, technologies, not only the platform, we also can help customers set up the, his own sales team, his and the technology team, his engineer team, also can help customer to construct the web portal. We even output our Dintalk platform to our customer. It means this is like the 10K project. We will and hand by hand to together with our customer to set up the whole cloud capabilities. This will be the different with the uh, other partners. Because for telecom, okay, there are uh, in the past, okay, there are many focus on the wireless and the fixed line business. But now it's time, okay, I think that we can do the new business because uh, for the telecom and the operator, they have network they have customer. They also start with some enterprise business. They even have the really and the so many data centers, but we can, okay, and, uh, utilize all the facility to construct to the, okay, so the new business based on the cloud. With cloud solution, okay, he can catch the more opportunity with customer of the digitalization requirement. This is very, okay, and the good business. We already started this business with some customers with short time, okay, and they already get enough margins, okay, and uh, the business also is growing very uh, smoothly. So I think that for the cloud business, okay, uh, for operator, if they have his own public cloud, is very good at for our uh, customer to catch more marketers. Because uh, for the public cloud market till now, for this and the top play, like the uh, Amazon, Azure, Alibaba Cloud, they just cover very less countries. There's lots of the countries okay, that they didn't cover. So I think for this and the not cover the market for telecom operators, this is a very good chance to catch these chances. Okay. It means that if an operator can have one, his own local public cloud, it means that they have very good platform okay, to catch the future. Because you can see now the, for the digitalization, okay, for the, the almost verticals, there are many need the similar okay, the foundation. The first one, one cloud-based. Second one, they have one data warehouse to manage all the data. Third one, with the data, they have the different okay, the vertical engine, application engines. If with this our platform, okay, is enough, it can to develop the different application, also make some innovations. So it means the finally, I think if the telecom has his own public cloud, it will be, he will be easy to do the more new business. Today, okay, the, it's our honor, we together with the real cloud to launch this solution, okay? And make this and the, uh, solution can serve our, 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 our customers. Thank you. This is my understanding. This is also my introduction. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Daniel. Uh, really, really innovative and informative, uh, you know, speech and the session. Uh, some of the important things definitely is the idea of using the same technology in the uh, public and the private. It's really exciting uh, to know.
uh, and and that too, like you know, cooperating and giving uh, telecom operators back the driving seat uh, with yes, the right. aim of this it really excites uh, excites the idea when we go further. Thank you once again. Um, now, um, basically, you know, um, digital transformation basically uh, has uh, uh, telecom operators in, um, in in the in the ecosystem. And then um, we have uh, two main concepts that are or can be related with the telecom uh, industry. One is the network. And second is the digital connect via that network. Therefore, uh, I believe that all the telecoms in the world are having, uh, you know, um, are helping their respective subscriber bases to connect digitally over the network that they are owning. So, but with the introduction of this uh, cloud as an infrastructure moving on uh, in, the, in the future, uh, with all the industries, and especially in, in telecom, uh, we are heading towards yet another convergence, uh, which I call like NICT. It's a further ahead of ICT, uh, which means the network, IT, and the CT convergence. Now, the key point in here is whether the telecom solution providers are ready for such kind of convergence, because if they are ready, it means that the telecom are ready. Um, so, and that too, in the lights of telecom, uh, you know, uh, digital transformation. So to know whether the telecom operators solution providers are ready, I would like to invite Mr. Steven um, uh, to share his thoughts. Um, Mr. Steven has, is, is basically the um, chief marketing and digital officer for Whale Cloud, and he leads the international marketing and the business development department. With over 15 years of experience in telecom uh, domain and the R&D with marketing uh, and the strategy of consultation. Stephen has delivered a significant achievement in expanding the business um, into different areas as supporting global telcos to identify, plan and execute the uh, important uh, factor of digital transformation. Uh, just like Daniel, um, Mr. Steven is going to be answering uh, some of the key concerns and questions uh, re related to the topic. Number one, why is the convergence of network and cloud operation is a must for a digital transformation and that too for a telecom operator? And number two, uh, what is the approach of facilitating this convergence and what is the strategy uh, adopted for a digital transformation for a telecom operators? Uh, thanks, uh, uh, Anibaba, to give me this uh, opportunity to share my understanding and thoughts. And also thanks uh, for Daniel to uh, share his understanding. And my solution, uh, my topic will be covered telco on cloud. Uh, firstly, please allow me to introduce WellCloud. So WellCloud is the uh, only uh, software and service provider uh, in the telco industry who owes uh, both the internet uh, background, uh, you know, which come from the Alibaba cloud, and also the rich industry experiences covering telco, finance, payment, etc. And we are the only few, uh, one of the few service providers who has uh, delivered very uh, successful Chinese uh, digital transformation uh, innovations and also uh, international uh, digital transformation best practice. As you see, as you can see in the right side, uh, there are a lot of the uh, big names using our products and services. You can see some uh, uh, major operators in China, for example, China Mobile, China uh, Telecom, and also uh, some MTOs, for example, uh, Orange Group, MDM Group, and Zen Group. Also today, uh, welcome uh, for us, the join us, and. Uh, uh, Telino group, etc., and also you can see some uh, local operators, for example, MD, MPD in Myanmar and uh, uh, KPN uh, Post in Luxembourg is also using our products and services. And during the past years, we established a rich collaboration scope between uh, WellCloud and also Alibaba Cloud and Ant Group. So we develop a lot of joint solutions. Uh, you can see in the top. Here we develop some uh, joint solutions related to infrastructure cloud. 
So first, uh, it is a cloud business enabler suite, a local public cloud, as Daniel has been introduced. And also AI chatbot has been uh, widely used uh, by global customers. Uh, OceanDB is a, a distributed uh, database. If our customers, you know, has uh, uh, options about non-Oracle database, they can choose it. We also have some kind of uh, digital transformation solutions related to platform as a services uh, based on DinTalk and MPAS. So DinTalk is an intelligent workstation, enterprise workstation developed by Alibaba Group. It, it has already helped tens of the millions of enterprise has improved their working efficiency in China. And MPAS is a mobile platform help the enterprise to embrace the mobile first strategy uh, develop the mobile applications on the public cloud. We also uh, have some kind of a joint uh, go-to-market efforts in the marketing and the sales side. We to go together with Alibaba Cloud uh, in different sectors in, in terms of their goal, uh, retail, payment, uh, and also security. In the delivery side, uh, we are the uh, de facto ex uh, exclusive uh, provider of the Absara stack. Uh, we can do Absara stack delivery, uh, Alipay delivery, also some manager services and also system integrations. Uh, we are uh, actually, we are doing the digital transformation for the decades. Uh, we are uh, trying to be the global leader in the digital transformation uh, by integration, uh, integrated uh, with the web scale technology and also our industry know-how introducing uh, digital services uh, building the digital platforms to help uh, global operators to do the digital transformation. So we call this uh, strategy called Strato. It's uh, speeding up digital transformation together to help our clients to you know, run their business smoothly, easily on the stratosphere. Uh, uh, by introducing the digital foundation, the technology from the Alibaba cloud, for example, the cloud technology, AI, big data, uh, Din talk and uh, pass this kind of a technology. We are able to build the competitive solutions on top of this uh, technology. Uh, we are not only focused on the, pla uh, the, uh, the platform, but also the business outcome. So for example, to improve the customer experiences, to get the revenue growth and also improve the operation efficiency. Also uh, for the new digital services to get the extra uh, additional revenue for the telco business. So that is the, our uh, four pillars of the digital transformation 2.0. Uh, as, as you can see in the last slide, uh, we are not only building the digital platforms, uh, uh, including the digital BSS, uh, business supporting system, uh, digital OSS, digital operation system. We also help the clients, help our customers to build the ecosystem for the B2C and the B2B sector. As you can see in the picture, in the uh, B2C sector, uh, we can introduce in the world needing fintech technology into the telco. So to help them to build their digital wallet services. And also by uh, accessing our digital commerce cloud, we can help our customers to sell more and more SKU at the retail channel at a very low cost. And most importantly, by introducing, uh, thanks to the MPAS, by introducing uh, the platform, uh, we can help them to build the uh, super app platform to uh, consolidate in telco services, uh, uh, fintech services, e-commerce services, content services, local services uh, into a centralized platform. So in the B2B sectors, uh, not only managing the traditional connectivity services easily, we also can introduce in cloud services, uh, digital workstation services into one single platform as Sammy just introduced is a real ICT strategy uh, for the B2B sectors. So among all the uh, uh, digital transformation solutions, there are three uh, solutions is widely selected and uh, uh, it's very popular by global customers you can see here. And the first one is the local public cloud. The uh, local public cloud can turn uh, the traditional data center into the real cloud business to get more and more revenue. And the second is uh, the uh, mobile uh, first strategy. Uh, thanks to the MPAS, 
So MPAS is a mobile application platform. Uh, we can help our uh, customers to uh, embrace the mobile first strategy to build the, uh, 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 this kind of a, a mobile application in a very fast speed and also to get the uh, finance grade reliability and also the agility. Other than the platform, Wellcard also has some kind of uh, out of the box application. For example, uh, digital workspace for uh, our partners, dealer app for the technicians and also for the end users. And also in the future by integration, uh, these two platform based on the DIN talk, we also can create a synchronization between consumer and the partner and the channels. So that is really can help, you know, telco operators to monetize, to manage the existing customers and also for, for the partners. This is a real revenue we can, uh, real uh, kind of a value we also can generate for our customers. Um is uh, basically the idea of uh, um, the local cloud, which is um, equally explained well by Danielle as well. Uh, it gives and it really excites me uh, giving the opportunity uh, to a telecom operator to be the representative of the cloud and selling the cloud service, uh, which, which is basically private, kind of a private for them and then locally for the entire country or the region that they're going for this, this, this concept. And then services like, um, uh, you, you know, the Ding Talk, because I have been using recently this Ding Talk uh, for myself. And it's, it's really something which is really, uh, you know, uh, gelling the team together and all. And on top of that, uh, very well summarized uh, your uh, thoughts on the super app uh, for both B2C and the B2B side. Uh, which is really uh, something that the world will be moving on. So thank you for your time, uh, Stephen. Um, moving on, whatever until now we have discussed is basically the, the thoughts that are being shared by the infrastructure and then the solution on top of those infra infrastructures. Um, but one important uh, thing is uh, why not to uh, make this discussion more exciting? Um, and how it can be done, we can, we can uh, talk to a, uh, to a representative of a telecom operator uh, who actually has implemented uh, these strategies, capabilities, concepts, and the solutions that we have discussed in the previous two sessions. And they have really realized by implementing uh, that uh, public uh, you know, uh, cloud uh, concept. Uh, we are talking about uh, none other than uh, Zen, uh, which is a tier one operator. Uh, in, uh, and they have implemented this strategy um, in Saudi Arabia. And uh, in order to hear the success story of Zen, I would uh, like to invite Mr. Faraz, who is the director of uh, cloud business for Zen Saudi Arabia. Um, Mr. Faraz is having uh, over 15 years of extensive ex uh, experience in uh, delivering high excellence business operations uh, with strategic planning as sales leader for information technology. Successful records in uh, developing the startup business with a solid performance track and outstanding results. Uh, a team-oriented manager uh, with an ability to work with a variety of people to manage the multitask over a short and long period of time with efficiency. So uh, the profile says itself. Um, Mr. Faraz, um, I would like to um, start uh, by asking a question. And the question is like, can you introduce the audience? What was the main motivation for Zen uh, Saudi Arabia to enter into the cloud business? And um, having, having done so, um, how Zen um, is forecasting the future by accelerating uh, the cloud business itself? Um, having said that you have already achieved uh, the, the first letter on, uh, on the step. Yes, Mr. Faraz. Thank you, Sammy, for this nice introduction. Uh, I love it by myself. <clears throat> uh, thank you, uh, Daniel and Stephen. You are both our uh, success partners, our uh, digital transformation partner. And thank you for everyone. Thank you for uh, the team and for everyone. Uh, actually, today, uh, everyone came to know uh, Saudi 2030 vision, which is the, we call it the ambition and the aspiration vision, 
which is uh, lead all of us to uh, go into a digital transformation journey with all the industrial, which is serving finally uh, the uh, uh, citizens and everywhere in the life. So from that part, uh, Zane uh, Case A took the responsibility uh, to go into a digital transformation journey and uh, into their customers in terms of B2C and B2B uh, for their own network and services, which is the main blood of the telecom, and also in going uh, more further uh, beyond the line and going to into a digital transformation journey. So cloud service, cloud service uh, point was an, a very important in our uh, life in Saudi. And therefore we went as a team to uh, do a, a deep scanning into the market, how our cloud journey will be, how we need to serve our customers to be in a, a public cloud providers inside Saudi. And uh, agree with my uh, colleague, Daniel as well. So we took in place that in consideration as well, the comparison between the fully controlled uh, stack and uh, the uh, open stack. And that's why we chose and we went with uh, Alibaba partnership and with Whale Cloud, which they are enabled us to implement uh, the, the, the stack, Absara stack in our uh, prem in Saudi uh, to uh, distinguish us as a cloud public uh, providers in Saudi. And uh, now we are one of the uh, registered cloud service provider in Saudi, uh, which is completely uh, in a private mood, B2B, providing services of infrastructure to the end user, which is compliant, compliant with, the, with the government regulation uh, in Saudi and meeting the government and corporate and SME as well to keeping the uh, data inside Saudi. Uh, uh, from all of that, I think uh, we, uh, we, we, we saw the difference between how much easy is using the fully controlled uh, stack with less of operation, uh, less uh, of uh, the risk, which is uh, coming among when you talk about cloud. Actually, I like your introduction about the IT. Uh, we have a simple idea. When you uncloud the cloud, there is an IT. There is a data center, there is, an, a, there is a rack, a servers, a storage. But uh, when you go into a business side to keep customer data within your prem, this is an, a, 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 a complete different story about how you can manage and secure those data and, 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 and serving your customers and giving them a, a, a business continuity uh, to their business as well. Because finally we are a partner to those digital partners. So finally, we are providing the cloud infrastructure, but they are serving a different services or functions to the end user. So our responsibility is to keep it secure, keep it uh, sustainable, keep it uh, uh, business continuity for everything. I think when the cloud and Alibaba, I think uh, they did great. Uh, they built and operate the cloud itself. So that's why we are considered now as a, uh, public cloud provider in out For the vision, what you mentioned, definitely uh, we provide as a first step because we launched in 2020 our services to the to the public, and it's a completely public cloud services. So no human interact. It's com completely customer can ask for the cloud and provision, and and very easy to the friendly user. So uh, finally, uh, our next step is to going more deep into big data. And as Mr. Stephen, he mentioned, Mr. Daniel, how we need now to serve uh, the customers by, uh, by, uh, by collecting this data and uh, giving more use cases to the, to the, to the customers into the digital uh, journey we have it in Saudi. So mainly this is, the, this is the plan. This is the roadmap we have it in Saudi with the Zen Cloud. And thank you again for everyone from Whale Cloud and Alibaba and yourself, Sami, for this meeting. Thank you, uh, Mr. Faraz. Um, um, again, very well explained uh, um, the, the whole case study, like uh, until the point. And uh, I, I do strongly um, second your uh, thoughts as far as the vision is concerned for going uh, upfront and uh, from the traditional EAS services that has already been launched in, in Zen uh, uh, 
Saudi Arabia, um, which you have explained. I think um, because uh, data, I, I also personally believe data is the key. And um, uh, even according to uh, Alibaba um, uh, concept, uh, Daniel, please correct me if I'm wrong. It, it says that the data knows you more than your wife knows you. <laughs> so it means that your daily basis, you are talking and dealing with the data. And, and this is something, you know, very, which is really very important and uh, rightly concluded for what Daniel and Stevens uh, put the importance of data and uh, putting that into the uh, vision. Uh, I will really like to thank uh, Mr. Faraz, uh, especially for taking out the, uh, his valuable time and uh, giving us uh, a good uh, case study, which we can refer for, uh, you know, uh, for the telecom operators coming ahead. And uh, having said that, personally, I would like to wrap up the thing that I personally think that we have already entered in such kind of an era that uh, we have to connect all the dots uh, within the network, which is the elastic network now. So the most important point in this is the convergence of network resources with the IT and the CT. And it can only be successful if we start renovating and thus digitally transforming our infrastructure from a legacy to put that on the cloud. Um, sky is the limit. Uh, this is what I can conclude. So having said that, um, I would really like to thank my panelists, all of them, Mr. Daniel, Mr. Stephen, and Mr. Faraz for taking uh, our time from their busy schedules and sharing their experiences with us. It was indeed a great learning and an eye-opening experience personally for myself. Thank you. Until next time. Good day. My name is Erwin Urek, and I am the President Director of Blue Power Technology, or BPT. I am excited to share you our story with Alibaba Cloud over the last four years, as well as what our partnership has done to contribute to the digital transformation of all businesses in Indonesia. But first, let me tell you a little bit introduction about BPT. BPT is one of Computer Technology International's or CTI Group subsidiaries and Indonesia's leading provider of IT infrastructure solutions since 2011. As we carry so many well-known IT brands from all over the world, we have established a stellar reputation as an IT expert partner. Currently, we have over 200 business partners, 300 plus customers, and 19 products and received 17 plus awards. Since we have a competent IT team, we are committed to be the value added distributor that can provide the best IT products and services to help businesses integrate and modernize their IT systems and processes in response to the market changes. In order to stay competitive, we also help companies reduce operating costs and risks. We also provide a variety of facilities to assist all BPT teams in giving our customers with the best service in order to create differentiation and maintain the values for all stakeholders in our business. For several purposes, we invest in the technology center, including porting applications to verify compatibility, conducting proof of concept or POC, showcasing the latest products and improving IT team members' skills. We believe that our ability to work well as a team is one of the most important factors in maintaining our values of the company. We ensure that our human resources have the skills, expertise, and experience necessary to meet current and future business requirements by providing an end-to-end -end business process that includes everything from pre-sales to after-sales services. In our role, as a reliable IT expert partner, we have developed strong professional relationships with our partners to help them analyze and solve their company's technological requirements while also aligning their technical infrastructure with their business objectives. We began as a distributor of hardware and software, but soon expanded into other areas such as the cloud. In order to better fulfill the needs of customers and improve productivity, we then expand our capabilities and competencies to cloud-based solutions. 
Since 2017, Alibaba Cloud has been present in the Indonesian market. Since then, the decision to expand in Indonesia has coincided with their goal to build its own data centers, implying that they are in compliance with Indonesian government regulations. Their unique position aligns with the cultural and contextual advantage in order to provide customers in Indonesia with new data intelligence and computing capabilities. This opens up the brand new opportunity of our cloud journey, where we officially announced our partnership with Alibaba Cloud back in October 2017, marking the culmination of our growth. Alibaba Cloud is the contributing in the transformation of our society into one that is more sustainable, efficient, and interconnected. According to Gartner, Alibaba Cloud's highly scalable cloud computing and data management services are now China's biggest public cloud service provider and have the third highest proportion of the worldwide cloud computing market. As for now, we are officially an elite partner of Alibaba Cloud, which is capable to acquire more than hundreds of customers. Alibaba Cloud delivers hybrid solutions to help them in making the move to some kind of hybrid deployment. This is where we plan to expand our solution portfolio with Alibaba in order to offer hybrid cloud solutions to Indonesia, including Apsara Stack, Hybrid Storage Array, and ZStack. Video Vichara and DigitalExchange.id are two of our customers that are using BPT's Alibaba Cloud services. The reason for using Alibaba Cloud is simple. They are aware that Alibaba Cloud's own data center is now located in Indonesia, as well as they also will be getting BPT's ongoing assistance in incorporating these technologies. Widya Wicara, that has been using Alibaba Cloud since 2019, is an Indonesian company providing voice and language processing technology via an engine that can convert speech to text or text to speech and utilize it for natural language processing or NLP and chatbot. Their infrastructure makes use of Alibaba Cloud services, such as Elastic Compute Service for virtual machines, Relational Database Service for databases, and Object Storage Service for storage. A digital exchange platform, DigitalExchange.id, implements Alibaba Cloud services from us and allows its customers to trade in new digital currencies like Bitcoin, and Ethereum, as well as other alternative cryptocurrencies. They need servers that can accelerate speed, connectivity, and bandwidth in order to sustain their trading performance in real time. In terms of capabilities, Alibaba Cloud Services cover all of these areas. Their blockchain system, servers, and private key security is also a factor in why they choose Alibaba Cloud. In this case, DigitalExchange.id make use of Alibaba Cloud's Key Management System or KMS. As for today, we deliver almost everything that Alibaba Cloud has to offer, such as infrastructure as a service and database as a service. We also have a cloud extreme team of seven people to handle cloud technology sales and development. Moreover, BPT has more than 40 Alibaba Cloud Associate or ACA, to Alibaba Cloud Provisioner or ICP with additional certification on the way. We are able to achieve consistent growth on cloud solutions thanks to the Cloud Extreme team. And this has earned us the title of Alibaba Cloud's top drop partner for 2019. During these past four years, we and Alibaba Cloud has been helping around 300 plus customers from various industries including financial services, media, financial technology, manufacturing, and many more. There are many benefits and possibilities to be gained from cloud computing and the underlying technologies. When it comes to employment, services, platform, and applications, cloud computing has the potential to create a whole new world of possibilities. As the future of cloud computing begins to take off, Hundreds of new opportunities are starting to emerge. Vendors and service providers, for example, may utilize cloud technology
to create new and innovative methods of marketing their products and services to cloud customers. It provides designers and web developers with a whole new toolkit. It is a possible for companies and organizations to better organize and conduct businesses at lower cost with more competence. Furthermore, social networking and staying in contact with friends are made a lot simpler thanks to the internet. There's still a long way to go in our future plans with Alibaba Cloud. This is only the beginning. But it's fair to say that businesses no longer see the cloud simply as a tool. As a result, they are putting stronger focus on using the cloud to achieve various business objectives. In other words, we are here to help them in achieving their goal. Let's begin your cloud journey with DPT and Alibaba Cloud. Thank you. Hello, this is Chris Sir from Megazon. Congratulations on hosting the 2021 Alibaba Cloud Absara Conference. I'm Chris Sir, who is in charge of Alibaba Cloud Business Unit at Megazon. Megazon is the only partner in Korea with the elite level, which is the highest among Alibaba partners and provide Alibaba Cloud service to many customers in Korea. We would also like to explain the various services that Megazon has prepared so that customer can use Alibaba Cloud more conveniently and easily. Megazon was founded in 1998 and is headquartered in Seoul, Korea. We also have an office in China, United States, India, Vietnam, Indonesia, Singapore, and Japan. The company's growth has continued every year due to the recent expansion of the cloud market. And more than half of the, our employees are developer or engineer. Megazon provides cloud service to 4,500 major enterprises in Korea. Megazon signed a partnership with Alibaba Cloud in 2016 and launched MSP service for Alibaba Cloud in 2018 to serve customers. In 2021, we achieved the elite partner level and we provide the highest level of the Alibaba after sales support, flagship to customers, providing the best Alibaba Cloud technical support. In addition, Starting this year, we launched an education program to focus on Alibaba Cloud education for companies, universities, and specialized institutions in Korea. The highest level partnership in Alibaba Cloud, the elite level which I mentioned earlier, looks like this. This is a logo of the major country customers of the current Megazon Alibaba Cloud Division. Major companies in Korea, such as the Paul LG Operatives, SK Hynix, and Hyundai Motor Group make up the majority. Megazon is a cloud operation center that operates 24 hours a day, uh, 365 days a year for customers and also provide a managed service that operate the customer systems through consultation. Customers of Megazon can use Megazon's hyperbilling service for free, which can be analyzed from various angles. Megazon, as an Alibaba Cloud training partner, define the technical training required for infrastructure construction and training required in the future operation stage, and also uh, support competency improvement uh, through training course. Uh, this is a picture of the current Megazon building in Gangnam, Seoul in Korea. This is a 24 by 7 center that Megazon is proud of. 
It's called a COC. COC is a Cloud Operation Center. And Megadon's professional manpower supports cloud operation and technical works. This is our training center. This is a new Megadon building that is scheduled to be completed in 2023. It is located in Gwacheon, it is beside the Seoul. If there is an opportunity, I would like to invite you gladly. That's all for Megadon introduction. Through close collaboration and partnership between IOB Cloud Korea team and Megadon, we have achieved great growth since we started business in 2016. IOB Cloud, thank you very much for your support and collaboration. Ahead of the opening of the Korea region, Megadon introduced pledge after sales support for close work with Alibaba. And his real team not only business growth, but also customer satisfaction. Once again, thank you, Alibaba Cloud, for your support and collaboration. We look forward to growing together in the global market as well as the Korean market. Thank you. HKT is a communications company. We run fiber and 4G, 5G networks in Hong Kong. We are also an ICT system integrator for over two decades. We serve business customers in Hong Kong, China, and beyond for long, supporting them to deploy innovative technologies for their business operations. In recent years, we venture into providing and integrating emerging technology solutions like cloud, cybersecurity, IoT, AI, robotics, and also 5G industry applications to enterprises in different industries. In the past 18 months, enterprises have been facing big challenges in adjusting their mode of daily operations and the way they engage with their customers because of COVID. On one hand, we see some enterprises have been really struggling to survive and think about new ways of doing business. Say for example, for retailers, they understand the customer behavior has changed and thus they have to create and operate their online presence which they may not have in the past. At the same time, there are also opportunities to capture new customers from beyond Hong Kong. Now, all of a sudden, the potential addressable market size become much bigger. Those enterprises who can recognize this change and then react immediately can capture and grow their business. On the contrary, those who cannot recognize this change or do not react fast enough, they may easily and fairly quickly be disrupted and disappear. As I said, this is about recognizing the change and reacting to the change. And because of this reaction, we see many enterprises accelerating the speed of digital transformation in the COVID period. And transformations become the new normal for surviving companies. Deploying cloud is also the new normal, as business can boost their agility and accelerate their execution of digital transformation initiatives. This is particularly obvious when enterprises are serving customers in multiple geographical regions. Say for example, spreading out e-commerce channel for customers stationed in China and in different countries by using cloud technology is natural, quick, and efficient. Now to this end, our partnership with AliCloud enable us to deliver integrated, agile, cross-border IT infrastructure and industry applications for enterprises. For instance, by utilizing cloud compute resources, big data, and AI technologies, AliCloud can support enterprises to do a lot of things. First of all, 
build their online e-commerce business that faces the mainland China and global markets, set up multi-channel reach, including online and offline integration, allow consumers to do image search through the use of machine learning and deep learning technologies, and utilize data for multi-dimensional consumer insight analysis and for creating effective marketing campaigns, etc., etc. Now, live streaming shopping is very popular in mainland China. AliCloud's live streaming solution enables retailers to adopt this form of commerce with mainland Chinese consumers. As all these solutions are cloud-based, enterprise can set up and utilize these technologies very easily. Now, in a remote chance that some execution really fail, since the solution is cloud-based, the solution can be taken down in minutes. Fail fast and learn fast is also the new normal of our daily works. Having a very powerful cloud, is it the end of the story? I would say that the answer, of course, is, is no. As enterprises evolve to become more reliant on cloud, the networks connecting to cloud become even more important. We see many enterprises are upgrading their network for SD-WAN, meaning Software Defined Wide Area Network, providing them with a flexible, scalable, and reliable network. As all mission-critical applications are running on cloud, one single minute isolation from the cloud create lots of problems to business operations. That's why we develop managed SD-WAN solutions, connecting enterprise to cloud by using both fiber plus 5G network, providing a premium grade of network resilience. Say for example, if there is a fiber cut, we can prioritize important payment transactions and ERP inventory application traffic to run on the backup network powered by 5G. That's why managed SD-WAN network and cloud projects have to go hand in hand to deliver cloud promises. Lacking any one of those two technologies just doesn't work out. An integrated solution is essential for success. We now have the right technologies, all integrated very nicely. However, I believe many of us know that we are facing the issue of insufficient IT resources and internal expertise. IT talents become critical to the success of digital transformation. That's why we put together our enterprise managed service offerings, helping enterprises to lower their pressure in IT talent recruitment and management. Enterprise managed service deliver single one-stop service hotline for multiple technology solutions, including managed cloud, managed SD-WAN, managed Wi-Fi, managed UC, etc., etc., and even first-tier support for all enterprise IT solutions and applications. With this comprehensive managed service offerings, Together with the right cloud technologies and reliable networks, enterprise will be very free in their digital transformation journey. Over the years, HKT has successfully assisted over 30,000 enterprises in various industries to adopt cloud technologies. While enterprises are moving fast in their transformation journey, HKT will continue to innovate and support our enterprise community to transform and to build their smarter business. AliCloud, we continue to be our close partner. We love good, advanced technologies, and we go fast. However, we do not stop here. There's a saying, if you want to go far, go together. 
So let's go together in your transformation journey. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dave Ginsberg, Vice President of Product and Solutions Marketing at Arienka Networks. And we're going to look at for the next short while is how Alibaba Cloud and Ariaka are connecting and securing the new hybrid workforce. First, a bit of background. Why Ariaka and Alibaba Cloud? We've been selected by Alibaba Cloud as the preferred global SD-WAN vendor. And together, we'll help support our joint customers' digital transformation efforts. As part of this, we provide easy access to a global SD-WAN and SASE managed services footprint. We're also acknowledged for our superior customer support. One example is Gartner Peer Insights for WAN Edge Infrastructure, and we've been recognized in all three covered regions, including Asia Pacific. Now looking at the hybrid workforce environment, why we're here today. Even looking into the future, 50% of knowledge workers will operate in a hybrid mode. And of those 50%, 80% will spend time in the office and at home, and 20% will spend all of their time remote. This, of course, impacts how you develop a forward-looking networking and security architecture. This architecture needs to be able to support multiple working models, whether you're together in the office collaborating, whether you're in the office working on your own, whether you're remote collaborating, and we're all very familiar with all the various conferencing platforms we've used over the last year and a half, or whether you're working remotely alone. Nevertheless, the WAN needs to support the necessary networking and security to support this. Now, there's both the good and the bad of the hybrid work environment. The good is that we've seen some productivity improvements. Now, some of this may be due to the fact that we're working longer hours, but nevertheless, we have found out that work does get done, whether you're in the office or remote. Now, the flip side of that is that we're at the threat of burnout, basically inefficient processes, inefficient workflows that result in too many messages, too many meetings, too many people working on different documents. So this is something we're going to have to improve going forward, and the WAN can help with this. This is compounded by the threat perimeter. Basically, as you have more and more employees remote, you've extended your corporate virtual firewall from the branch and the headquarters out to the home office. And one recent statistic is only 20% of IT managers are confident that they have the proper process and technology in place. So we've got to help them solve that problem. Now, separate from what's happening in terms of the remote work environment, IT and the CIOs have various digital transformation imperatives. Basically, what are they looking to accomplish with their WAN transformation? Well, it includes additional flexibility. It includes a simplicity, and we'll talk about managed offers. It includes land life application performance. Of course, we all want to lower our total cost of ownership. We want to make sure the environment's secure and we want it to be scalable. And some of this is a byproduct of the cloud consumption model now applied to networking and security. There are also some trends that are playing out in the background. We talked about the workloads, basically people in a hybrid environment and people leveraging the cloud for their applications and data. We talked about people working both on-prem and remote. But there's a third factor the expectations of what a managed services is, and expectations as to the convenience, simplicity, a SaaS-type operational model for networking and security. A couple years ago, Gartner proposed an architecture called the Secure Access Service Edge, or SASE, to help address all of these various concerns and considerations. It's predicated on two pillars, both as a service, which means SASE is best delivered as a managed offer. The first is networking as a service. This is the connectivity, the optimization, the last mile services that we're all familiar with. And this is where Ariaka really got its start. The second is network security as a service. 
This is the various managed firewalls, cloud security gateways, CASB, and other ways of providing threat intelligence and defense to your employees. Both of these pillars are required. You can't have SASE without connectivity. You can't have SASE without security. How is it best delivered? Talked a little bit about managed offers. What we need is an environment that provides access across any edge to any cloud and from any location. And it needs to have a land-like application experience. It needs to be secure, of course, and it needs to be simple, easy to consume. Now, traditional telco or MSP delivery models don't do this because they bring to the table multiple vendors that are stitched together. This obviously results in support handoffs and doesn't result in the most agile infrastructure either because the provider is always having to go back to their technology vendor for any questions or support. What we're proposing with Alibaba Cloud is a more integrated approach where we not only provide our own technology and develop our own technology, but offer it as a fully managed service, a tightly integrated value chain that results in much quicker response times and a much better customer experience. How do we do that? We have the concept of a services pop. These are deployed globally, as you'll see, that combine not only routing and switching, but compute and storage. Because of that, it provides an excellent foundation for the delivery of very sophisticated services at the edge of the cloud. We've done this for years with optimization. More recently, with our private access managed VPN as a service solution, and now with our SASE capabilities that I'll talk about. And these capabilities pointing towards both on-prem workers, as well as those who are remote or on the go, and obviously also provides handoffs to the various cloud platforms. So looking at the topology, we have our services pops deployed in every continent. They combine the various technologies that allow us to deliver very sophisticated edge-facing networking and security functions. They're interconnected through L2 over fiber, really rock solid middle mile where we can deliver 5.9 SLAs. And as you might imagine, connectivity into and out of China, leveraging our partnership with Alibaba Cloud. We work with a number of global manufacturers, business process outsourcing, SaaS companies and the like, and they all need peak performance for their employees connecting in and out of China. In summary, what we offer is SASE is really, think of it as a three-legged stool. One is the high-performance wide area infrastructure, the connectivity. It includes the various optimization and hybrid WAN connectivity options that I talked about. The second is pervasive security. These are all the managed VPN services, firewall, SWIGs, and other functionalities. And lastly, the managed service delivery. Really lifecycle unparalleled services management that redefine what people think of when they consider networking and security as a service. What we do together is allow Alibaba Cloud to extend their reach into new regions, both for customers that have headquarters or branches in China or need to access China, or also across Asia Pacific, leveraging the Arioca Global Services POP footprint that I just described. Ultimately, the managed offer is predicated upon integrated services delivery, a combination, think of it as a virtuous cycle of people, processes, and technology, and then an unparalleled customer support experience. If you'd like to learn more, we're now in the fifth edition of our global State of the WAN report, where we poll IT management on their concerns, solutions, and investment priorities, a special focus on the hybrid workforce and SASE this last year. We have a recent white paper from Del Oro on the motivations for SASE. And then we have additional assets that you can download from our website that include manufacturing in the post-pandemic environment, a deep dive into our managed services experience, what IT is looking at in terms of supporting remote work, and then a perennial favorite, the Cloud First WAN for dummies. So I thank you once again and please keep in touch. Okay, so this is the detail of this program. 
So since we have our local partner representing here, so we want to hear their thoughts about working with Alibaba Cloud and this program. So first, I'd like to invite uh, Mr. Pongsawat from uh, Cisware. Hi, Kun Pongsawat. Hi, it's Tyler. Yeah, can you have to introduce yourself and your company? Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Pong Sawat Puyung Wong. I am business director at the Cisware Thailand Company Limited. Thank you, Alibaba Cloud, to having me here and pleasure to be here and the honor to speak in the ASPLA conference. Cisware Thailand is innovation ICT solution provider, which has been established since 2006, almost 15 years in Thailand. We take a coaching step to select the best quality enterprise class product and solution from readers of innovation technology providers. We are focused on emerging technology to our value customer in Thailand to solve their challenging issue to support business goal. All of the product and solution those Cisware had delivered to related maximize utilize organization, for example, agility, operation, technology, people, and value of invest. We trust that our product ensure the best quality, professional, and worth of invest. Cisware is looking forward to work closely with Alibaba Cloud to deliver intelligent cloud technology into Thailand customer with providing the right technology to the right business requirements. That's, thank you. Okay, thank you. So since you are already working with Alibaba Cloud, can you share with us what is the current collaboration area um, with Alibaba Cloud? And uh, probably if it's uh, uh, okay, you can also share what is your future market plan uh, locally in Thailand. This where we collaborate with Alibaba to focus its target customer segment and business requirements. We will focus on secure cloud infrastructure, big data, AI platform for AI and mobile application development framework and tool. As distributorship, we have to work closely with system integration and ultimate goal is to deliver more value through modern digital solution from Alibaba Cloud. This we commit to invest the resort to support customer in Thailand. Thank you. Okay. 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 Thank you. So um, uh, we we actually so for the past uh, experience we have already done some you know good customer case and good uh, strategy. So um, since there's many public cloud provider um, in Thailand, why you choose Alibaba Cloud? Uh, can you share some of the uh, uh, reason? Uh, great question. Actually, there are so many clouds technology provider in market. This way has experience to help the new emerging technology product successful go to market into Thailand. Mm -hmm. In the intelligence cloud space, we confidence in Alibaba cloud product and solution to be more value to the Cisware customer. So many reasons uh, to partnership with Alibaba Cloud, but I would like to pick some of few of them. Uh, Alibaba number one is Alibaba is continuous develop is very good product and service. Number one cloud provider in China, top five product in public cloud provider in the world. Number two is Alibaba Cloud is comprehensive brings product and solution and application readiness that the customer can easy to adopt in terms of the digital transformation. Number three, this is a technology trend in terms of the container, in terms of Kubernetes. Alibaba has long developed many applications based on container, Kubernetes, and microservice. This is a new trend of the cloud native technology. 
Number four, I pick it up is about I think as we have some startup discussion and and propose to the customer is rapid implementation and proven application algorithm that uh, you already have and match it and very easy for the customer to adopt and de continue develop to support their business requirement. Number five is the this is relevant. I think Alibaba commit to support local Thai business. You have the office in Thai. You have the uh, Thai people to support, and also Alibaba is planning to have the data center in Thailand. That is most of the I pick from the field of many reason to partnership with Alibaba. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yes, um, there's one point you raised. I think it's very um, agree with you. So the cloud native, I think in Thailand now it's a very hot topic, and uh, it's a very clear trend. So actually, um, we are quite confident in uh, our cloud native product portfolio. Um, yes. So my last question for you. Um, so in the coming 2022, what is your vision? working with Alibaba Cloud in Thailand? We would like to become the best digital solution provider for working and life to support the Thailand's customer. That is my vision for the Sysware Company Limited. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Um, so next, guest. Uh, our next guest is uh, Mr. Nitipon from The Intelligence. Hi, Quinn Nitipon. Hi, Tyler. Yeah, uh, nice to see you virtually here. Uh, can you also share yourself and the company introduction to the audience? Yes. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Nitipat Panichariwat, Managing Director of The Intelligence. I'm honored to be here also. Uh, DI is a trusted by a uh, top entertainment company in Thailand to provide turnkey development for OTT platform solution and innovative business-driven IT solution that drive growth. Okay, okay, thank you. So I know that you are very um, strong in the digital entertainment. Um, this is also what we see very clear um, trend in Thailand. Um, so my uh, next question for you is, uh, you know, now digital transformation is also very, um, I think it's, uh, uh, it's national strategy for Thailand also. So from your uh, experience, what did you say for Thailand digital transformation trend? And what is the major change um, during this past, for example, one or two years? Of course, uh, now we are experiencing the COVID situation. Uh, of the world, right? And then there's a lot of uh, different trends that are uh, accelerate uh, between uh, these two years. So uh, from, from my experience, uh, now many different sides of business are moving to cloud, of course. And there are, uh, there are big trends that are rapidly uh, achieved. And there's a digitalization for big data and intelligence now, everyone talking about data. And, and that of course, the next step is to how to use to implement it. And uh, for our side, uh, we are in the entertainment business. Uh, of course, we are using a lot of uh, live streaming service. And uh, I think the, 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 the next thing is the AI live translation that uh, one of the service of Alibaba Cloud also. And of course, now, now you can see really clearly that the global customer now is a, a big trend. I mean, we, we are in Thailand, we are having a new customer from like South Korea or any other countries. And of course, there are also uh, competition from abroad also that providing the same uh, like service or technology. So, so I think this is uh, the major trend now that uh, Thailand are facing, yes. Okay, okay, thank you. So for um, the um, next question from my side is, uh, is, is the same um, as uh, previous. So um, why you chose Alibaba Cloud? What is uh, 
a reason for entertainment industry or entertainment industry players uh, like the intelligence uh, that you chose Alibaba Cloud? Of course, there are a lot of service in the market, uh, and and actually we have already been using the Appsora service for Appsora live video, Appsora video service for all the media content. And uh, now there are, I think the, the the good service from the Alibaba is that uh, it can start from the content creation process until like store and process, and even the content contribution and customer insight. Actually, all in the same service from Alibaba Cloud. I mean, for us, it's more uh, how to say, it's more easier for us to work with, and especially for the customer also that we can can ensure the customer that all the service are working properly. And uh, of course, uh, from my experience, uh, we can see that Alibaba Cloud is trusted by a lot of big corporations, and using their using your service. And uh, for both technology and global security compliance, uh, especially for us, uh, we are working with different uh, organizations that uh, they are strictly uh, uh, want the high quality for the security uh, compliance now, now today. Yes. And of course, uh, for the Alibaba Cloud, they, you have a lot of uh, um, cloud product portfolio and that are covering our need, especially for the entertainment side. And of course, uh, for the a really good uh, customer service that actually uh, working closely with us uh, to, to actually uh, make a, a search solution for the customer, yes. Yeah, so we are also very glad and excited uh, for the past two years that working with you for uh, you know, many different entertainment uh, customers. Yeah, thank you for your support also. So. Um, next question uh, and last question uh, for you uh, is, uh, what is your vision for 2022? Um, also for, for example, entertainment industry and your business uh, working with Alibaba Cloud? Of course, um, the post COVID era, the company now really want to establish their product and service on the digital platform. But it's not only the digital platform that we are talking. We are talking about the experience that they will get uh, from, from using their product and service. So for us, I think uh, we are aiming to improve our digital experience for the customer. And of course, uh, using the data to turn the customer insight to be uh, actionable insight, uh, to be uh, actionable um, uh, method that we will improve our service and also the customer service also uh, and also the creating the new experience we also creating the new kind of customer engagement and we want to do the more personal personalization service and experience for each customer in the future yes okay thank you for sharing uh, Quan Yi um, the next guest is uh, Mr. Tanont from TMES. Hi, Quintano. Hi, yeah. yeah. T okay, TMES has established in 2011. We began by providing po uh, professional infrastructure IT services on that time, which I forgot on quality customer service delivery. As our portfolio of clients has grown, our customer needs are involved. They require customized services and software packages to meet unique business challenges. We are a dynamic and forward-thinking company, so we can provide the latest technologies and a flexibility service for our clients. Today, we provide a full spectrum of IT services that includes IT sourcing, infrastructure, software packages for retail and website development, for intelligent design and user experience to technical expertise and customer service. Our experience teams function like a well-oiled machine we are more than just technical expert. TMS is proud to have a team of specialists who are highly skilled in providing professionals and personalized consultant and technical services. Yeah, thank you. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, so for the uh, this uh, special program, the uh, Thailand Partner Alliance Winery Program. So what do you think this um, program um, how will it accelerate 
the digital transformation in Thailand. What is your thought? Yeah, this is a good topic that to share all the partners. The program highlights here are quite exclusive for partners which provide tremendous benefits. One of the most interesting things in tech sponsorships that could help business to test their idea on Alibaba account and even do the POC to their customers. Okay, thank you. So uh, for TMES, um, um, the, uh, for the past uh, year, we also work very closely, uh, especially for uh, in retail uh, customers. So uh, in your vision, what are you looking forward to collaborate with us locally in Thailand in 2022? Yes, as you mentioned, we have been working closely, right? We created ecosystem to provide our clients the best solution that could help them to enable their businesses online and connect their physical stores. The solution most of the people call O2O could enhance user experience and on this particular experience, Alibaba Cow has tremendous solutions and services which could boost and transform the business to compete the world. Mm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thanks for your sharing. Welcome to join the announcement of Alibaba Cloud Thailand Partner Alliance 100 program. My name is Tyler. I am the country manager of Alibaba Cloud Thailand. Today, together with me, we are honored to have three representatives of our Thailand local partners to join this annou uh, announcement together with me. They are Mr. Pongsawat from Sisware. Hi, uh, Kun Pongsawat. Hi. Uh, and Mr. Uh, Nitipom from The Intelligence. Hi. And last one is uh, Mr. Tonat from TMES. Hi, everyone. Okay. Firstly, please uh, allow me to introduce this program details. The purpose of why Alibaba Cloud is going to launch this program is to better work together with Thailand local partner to accelerate the digital transformation for Thailand related um, industry. As we know, Alibaba Group has a strong gene of building up a platform for our ecosystem partner to grow business together. For example, uh, we grow together with the success of the sellers in our e-commerce platform. We grow together with the merchants in our financial platform. Back to Alibaba Cloud as one of the uh, top public cloud provider to make our local partners successfully upgrading um, their technology and business portfolio by leveraging Alibaba Cloud uh, core technology and our local support is the top priority for Alibaba Cloud Thailand. And we will keep have better and stronger support for our local partner in Thailand. The main target partner type that we are going to involve in this program, um, they are channel partner, technology partner, and service partner. So for channel partner, um, they basically um, is um, selling Alibaba Cloud products to local customers for either standard loan sales or to incorporate with Alibaba Cloud products into their own service portfolio. For technology partner, um, so mainly they are independent software vendors. Um, so they will build and upgrade their own products and sol uh, sol solutions together with Alibaba Cloud core uh, technology and big data. And for service partner, because a lot of end customer, they need different kind of service, for example, migration, maintenance, consulting. So we need local service partner to work together with us to support the end customer um, for their journey to go cloud. Um, example like consulting plan, uh, design, integration, delivery, and many service. So this is a three uh, type of partner that we are going to involve into this uh, program. Up to this year, um, we already see a good collaboration with some of our local partners by our existing program. So here are some examples of our local Thailand partners. But we are going to um, leverage this new program to have extra support to our local partners. And this program is what we call Thailand Partner Alliance Winder 
program. So what we have for this uh, uh, program, so this is the program highlight. So for channel partner, our core target is to create more margins for our channel partner to get more business and more margins by collaboration or resell Alibaba cloud products. So um, first, we are going to give up to 50% product margin to our local partner. And we are also prepare one million Thai bar incentive pool for resellers that are going to build a um, joint customer story with us. Uh, besides that, for new customer that are uh, developed by our channel partner, we also have extra rebates for these customers. And then after that is um, we also prepare extra sponsorship on training and a human resource course because um, the uh, the talents and then the uh, the staff that have a good knowledge of our products is also very important for channel business. And then for technology partner, because one of the imp uh, the major costs for technology partner to work with us is their investment on the integration, the POC of their existing service and solution together with Alibaba Cloud. So within this uh, program, we are going to provide up to three million free cloud usage for the integration of the technology partner uh, to integrate with Alibaba Cloud. And we are going to provide dedicated local technical support and free technical training for our technology partner. And also we are going to prepare up to 5 million Taiba uh, uh, support pool for our technology partner to give them more incentive on the marketing and uh, customer engagement and the uh, technology development. Um, and also for um, the new customer case, we also prepare extra incentive for um, technology partner if they are going to build the customer case together with Alibaba Cloud Thailand. For service partner, um, so because the end customer is the final decision maker to choose uh, what service that they are going to choose from the service partner. So we want to support service partner to easier customers decision making when they chose their service. Uh, for example, we are going to provide up to eight million Thai bar to sponsor and customer to reduce their migration service cost. And we are going to share Alibaba Cloud own project to our local service partner to work together to bring the end-to-end -end solution service uh, to satisfy the local customer. And we are also prepare the actual sponsorship for Alibaba Cloud Enterprise Support Service because a lot of time, the service partner also need our enterprise support come directly from Alibaba Cloud, which is also page service. So we are going to pre uh, prepare actual sponsorship for this kind of service for our service partner. And then for these three pro, uh, partner and this uh, pro, uh, program highlight, so we welcome all the uh, industry players who want to participate in the digital transformation journey of Thailand to join. Here are the, the ways to apply. So you can either send email directly to our staff or follow our LinkedIn account and send us LinkedIn message. So we welcome everybody to join and welcome everybody to apply. Hopefully we can build uh, a successful business together with you. Thank you.